Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we built the circuit. We used these components to make the connections. We used a relay module, a Bluetooth module, and we made the connections. So if you didn't watch that video, please pause this one and go to watch that one. Today, we are going to start writing our code on the Arduino IDE. So guys, let's get started. So guys, the first step is to create a new sketch. To create a new sketch, go on file, click on new, and we have a new sketch created. Now what we have to do is to save it. Click on save and give it a name. I'm going to call it Home Automation Arduino with Python. And once you, you give it a name, click on save. Okay, now we have our sketch created, we can start coding. I'm going to include a library called Software Serial. And then I'm going to define a pin, I'll call it a relay, and saying that relay is connected to the digital port number two of the Arduino board. And I'm going to create two variables, I'll call them TX and TR. These two pins are the pins of our Bluetooth module. And these two numbers, these two variables are the pins or the ports where these two pins are connected. And now I'm going to create a new element from the software serial, the library we include. And I'll call it Bluetooth. And then I'll give it the variables, the values of TX and RX. So we have to start the serial communication. So I'm going to write serial begin and then Bluetooth begin. When you're using serial communication, it's very important for you to, to start to initiate it. And now I'm going to set the relay as an output by using p mode command so i say p mode relay output okay now we, we can start writing our code on the loop section i'm going to say if the serial if serial is available then it's going to create a new variable a new variable char and I'll call it data and this variable is going to store the values reading from serial communication serial Read. Now I'm going to say if data receives a value, if data receive, receives this value, then it should turn on the relay. So digital write relay. high if not so if this this variable if data that doesn't receive this this value then it should do another thing so I'm going to say else if data receive receives another value if data receives this value then it should turn off the relay
relay low and let's save it so the first step of our code is done now what we have to do is to connect the USB cable to the Arduino board so that we can upload the code to the Arduino board so now what I'm going to do I'm going to connect the USB cable to the Arduino board and then select the board I'm going to select Arduino Uno select the port and then upload the code once the code is uploaded to the Arduino board I'm going to open the serial monitor so that I can test the circuit and the code so now you see if I type L uppercase it should turn on the relay if I type the lowercase it should turn off the relay if you try to type any other value it's not going to work because we, we, we define saying that the data will store these two values so guys this is all for today on the next video what we are going to do we are going to start making our android app to control the relay using android app so guys see you next time